Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This um, this is Johnny B. I got to do this because, honestly, I thought David Foster was the number one producer in the entire world for a long time. Because I'm American. I didn't know better. David Foster does have great people that he is dealing with. Don't get me wrong. And he's got a net worth of $80 million dollars. But that is literally a drop in a piss bucket that Igor Krutoy is worth. Igor Krutoy is worth an astounding $13 billion. He is the single richest man in music. A lot of people don't know that. Here. He's worth $13 billion. Billion dollars. Okay? He's one of the richest oligarchs in the entire world. So when people are uneducated and make silly comments that, well, if Dimash hooked up with a good music producer, dude, you can't get any bigger. You cannot literally get any bigger than Igor Krutoy. Literally, on the face of this planet. You cannot get bigger. He's number one. His job's his jock strap is so heavy that people have to pick it up for him. It's just that he doesn't deal with Americans too well. But that doesn't mean he doesn't live in America. He he bought his mom a seven million dollar condo in Miami. His wife he bought a house in New Jersey, and he bought himself a house. Worth $45 million in the Hamptons. Just to tear it down. So he could build another one. He liked the property. Didn't like the house. But he bought a $45 million house. <gasps> like I said. This guy's worth so much money. $45 million is like him pissing in a bucket. Okay. That's more than half of the net worth. By the way, $80 million is a ton of money. Oh my God, that's a ton of money. I'm not saying that $80 million is broke, but it's literally nothing compared to Igor. Nothing. So, stop, Americans, stop. This guy here is the number one music man in the entire world. You may not have heard of him, but the top music people, the Celine Dion's, the Andrea Bocelli's, the Lara Fabian's, they've all heard of him. The people who know music, they've all heard of him. He owns everything. Okay? He owns <laughs> so much stuff. Okay? So did Igor Kruz, so did... Dimash do well by hooking up with Igor? Oh, you're damn right. But that's not the reason that Dimash is not popular in the United States. That was my question. And my last one was, why is he not popular? And you guys, by the way, fabulous answers. Just fabulous. Out of all my videos I've ever done, those were some of the best answers some of them were, you know, not, I mean, you were wrong or whatnot, but they were great, well thought out answers. And some of them were just absolutely dead on or had some great ideas. Just well done. Well done. Give yourself a hand. That was, that was amazing. Okay. All right. But, um, yeah, Dimash is not doing poorly. Okay. <laughs> Trust me. He's not doing poorly. If he never makes it in the United States, that'll be just fine. We'll just have to go visit him elsewhere. <laughs> Trust me, okay? All right. Peace out.